Hello, this is a demonstration of our product Bluetooth Smart Bluetooth 4 for production model and for sensors. What you see on the right side here is actually a projection of my iPhone, iPhone 4S, that can show you the G sensor called accelerometer. G sensor. As you see, the chip is here. Here is the battery, small battery. Here is our module. It's a module that have a, a antenna, the small one, the chip, and the sensor. Very, very small one, you can see compared to my finger. Anyway, regarding the demonstration, I will show you demonstration of sensors connecting to the Bluetooth chip, part of our production. For example, if the sensor is horizontal, you can see that the blue line is here, the red and the green in at the zero point. If I am tilt that like that, 45 degree, you see that the green green line remain in the same place, and the blue going down and the red going up. If I put it in the upper other direction, you see that the red is going to up and the blue stay in the same. If I put it horizontal, we get it to the first position. If I tilt it like that, you see now the green is going down and other uh, parameters staying the same. If I tilt it like that, you see the green going up. If it's horizontal, again it's the same. So we have tilting like that, tilt like that, tilt like that, or tilt like that. You can see that if you look on the uh, blue line, that is actually the gravity of Earth, if I will take it 100 degree opposite, you see what happened to the blue line? It's going to up. If I'm opposite like that, you see the blue line going down. The same way if I tilt it to the red, you see? The, the green going up, the red in the middle. But if I move it like that, you see the changes. Okay? This is one, one of the parameters of G-sensor. But sometimes we need also gyrometer, meaning that we are not changing the position like a horizontal to Earth. We like to, to measure the angle, the angle that we move it. It's called gyro. So this is not a uh, effecting of the gravity, just the sending, you see? Like that. Or like that. Okay? And of course we have three-dimensional. We can have it moving like that. If it's still this direction, it's going to zero. Only the movement we're getting events. Okay? Also in this direction. Only when it moves we're getting events. Hello? Hola. Alcolto? Eli Musak. So we see that uh, we, we have accelerometer and we have also the gyro walking. Now let's see that we want also uh, to testing direction of the chip. It's actually a compass, three-dimensional compass. When it's heading to this, this is what you see, the red, but if you take it 90 degree, you see the red, green, and blue is changing. If it's like that, you see also the parameter is changing. If it's pointing to here, it's changed and pointing to other direction, of course. For every angle, you're getting different uh, readings. So 
by combining all these three uh, parameters, you can know exactly where the system is heading or what movement have been done. Also, of course, we have temperature that uh, uh, can measure the temperature around the humidity, stuff like that. I can blow air from my lounge onto the system, so you see that the temperature is changing. Actually, the humidity will go up in the first time and only then the temperature. One second. As you see, the, the humidity going up. After a few seconds, the temperature going up and the humidity going down. As I told you, the, actually this is for a uh, prototyping. You see here the connector in this side. We can connect it to your system and show that the system is working before going to high cost of uh, mass production. And this is when we're doing a mass production with that. Everything is on it. It's very, very small device, very low cost. So we have a rapid production for mass production and also for prototyping. Thank you very much. This is Nisim Zu from Vitalix.com.